Ever heard of the man who helped in World War II and basically invented modern computers? Let me tell you about Alan Turing, a genius, a war hero, and a tragic legend. Alan Turing was born in 1912 in London. From a young age, he showed signs of brilliance solving complex problems and fascinated by science. He wasn't your typical kid. He was different, but different is what changed the world. Turing studied at Cambridge and later at Princeton in the U.S. at just 24. He published a paper that basically laid the foundation of computer science. He asked a bold question, can machines think? This became the idea behind artificial intelligence. But then, World War II, Nazi Germany used a machine called Enigma to send coded messages. Everyone thought it was unbreakable, but not Turing at Bletchley Park. He built a machine, the bomb, that cracked Enigma's codes. Historians say this shortened the war by two to four years and saved millions of lives. After the war, Turing kept working on ideas that would eventually lead to modern computers. He was way ahead of his time, talking about thinking machines and neural networks in the 1940s. But there's a dark side to this story. In 1952, Turing was arrested. Why? Because he was gay, and back then, that was illegal in Britain. They gave him a choice, go to prison, or undergo chemical treatment. He chose the latter. Two years later, in 1954, he died officially by suicide after eating a cyanide-laced apple. He was just 41. Some say it was an accident. Others think it was heartbreak. Years later, the world realized what it lost. Turing got a royal pardon in 2013. Today, he's remembered as the father of modern computing and a symbol of genius, courage, and injustice. Alan Turing wasn't just a man, he was a revolution, and now you know his name.